Hey everybody, thought I'd uh, show you a quick uh, demo of what I've been working on with the robot Mr. Peck gave me. You didn't do me any favors, Mr. Peck. Uh, yeah, it's been a little bit of a time sink for the last couple days, but I uh, thought I'd show you real quick. So I got this board that if I uh, do some tilting, make the robot do some stuff. And you can uh, push a button on the board here and switch modes. And then it'll let you do other things. Open and close the claw. Raise and lower it. Uh, you can spin the thing. It's kind of cool. Raise it. This is some, some cool stuff. Uh, so what's going on here? I got a little power supply. Turn that off and unplug this. So it looks a little bit like a Frankenstein thing, but uh, basically there's a sensor on here that uh, uh, detects tilt. And uh, by tilting the board back and forth, this micro can, uh, through this little Frankenstein uh, mess, send commands into the robot. And this thing is just running on some batteries. So. Uh, little development board for 20 bucks from Mosier and uh, yeah so push the blue button it changes the modes I hope you can see that on the video the changing LEDs but uh, lets you see what mode you're in so go back to mode zero uh, plug the cable in turn on the power supply we're back in business So this is just kind of scratching the surface of what the robot is capable of. I haven't uh, used any of these switches yet, interfaced any of those, so uh, or tried to keep position. So you know, really, what you'd want to do is hit the switch to know where you are, and then count uh, how many pulses you send through the motors to keep track of your location, so that you could uh, know in all the. I think there's five degrees of freedom on this thing, so you could know where you are in 3D space. So haven't done any of that kind of stuff, so. Uh, but still, you know, it, it's moving and kind of cool, so. Uh, see what we can do with it. Thanks again, Mr. Peck. Uh, 